Okay, well, thank you for attending today. Uh, my name is Detective Inspector Martin Kecken, the Major Crime Investigation Branch of SAPOL. Uh, here to advise about the uh, suspicious deaths of a uh, 94-year-old married couple, um, Mrs. Brenda Anson, and her husband, Mr. Lyndon Lind Anson, Anson, both of Hackham. Um, Brenda Anson was being treated for a medical condition at the Norlunga Hospital, and on Saturday the 12th of March, 2022, so last year, um, her condition deteriorated greatly and she was transferred to Flinders Medical Centre the next day. Uh, Sadly, Mrs Anson died at the FMC on Wednesday the 16th of March 2022 and uh, Brenda's cause of death is subject to this, mur this murder investigation. Both her death and that of her husband Lyndon are believed to be homicides and both have been declared major crimes. Mrs. Anderson's death was identified during the coronial investigation in regard to her death, when toxicology results uh, gave significant rise to concern um, with the levels of intoxication being inconsistent with treatment she was receiving in the London hospital. The toxicology results were abnormal and, and with an innocent explanation as to the abnormalities was eliminated. The possibility of Mrs. Anderson's death being a deliberate act by another party has become the most primary subject of our investigation. So it's believed Mrs. Anderson was murdered by a person known to her and that was in close, in close enough a relationship with her who have been visiting her whilst in hospital. Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson Lyndon, Linton, sorry, was found by, found, found by a carrier unconscious at his home address at Hackham on Sunday the 30th of April this year. He was conveyed by SAS to the Flinders Medical Centre, but sadly the following day, Mr. Anderson died. Suspicion has been aroused as a result of his toxicology results as well, which were abnormal, and raised suspicions regarding the circumstances of Mr. Anderson's death. Police have eliminated any external care of Mr. Anderson as being involved in his death. The similarities and abnormalities in the toxicology results for both Mr. and Mrs. Anderson have provided the suspicion that both were deliberately murdered by the same person who is known and close to both of them. So an extensive amount of investigation has occurred in relation to both deaths. We've, we have identified a suspect, but won't elaborate further on that topic. We're appealing to anyone that may have had contact with Mr and Mrs Anderson, particularly in the months leading up to their death, and that may have knowledge of their deaths and the circumstances that occurred in relation to them. <coughs> in particular, we wish to speak to any person who may have some knowledge of any prescribed or non-prescribed medications that both were using or had spoke to them about. In respect to motivation, we're not prepared to speculate as to what the motivation is in relation to either death. But we do, however, appeal to anyone that may have any information regarding each death uh, to contact Crime Stoppers, and major crime detectives will be on hand to speak to any person that rents Crime Stoppers in respect to either death of Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Also, I appeal to anyone who may have so far withheld evidence or information from us to come forward regarding the deaths of uh, both Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. So I'm happy to take some questions. Is this suspect a family member? Uh, we won't elaborate exactly what relationship the suspect has to Mr and Mrs Anderson, suffice to say that they are close enough to, um, to be in contact with both people leading up to their deaths. What was in the toxicology report? Well, we won't go into that detail at the moment, suffice to say that they were abnormal and very suspicious in levels and type of uh, medications that were in both people. In both people were they the same type? Yes. Do they come from a very close family? Yes, I would say they are a close family, yes. A large family? 
uh, reasonable size, but bear in mind, we've spoken to several members of the family, but there's no doubt a lot of other people we still need to speak to. Uh, is there any strange transactions with their bank accounts at all that you've seen? No, no, we haven't, I won't make any comment in relation to that at this point in time. So it's the understanding that the first, um, I don't want to say poisoning, or, but yeah. essentially when she was at hospital and he was back at home, that's likely to where these events could have occurred. So we believe Mrs Anderson, um, she died in hospital and we believe whatever occurred has occurred while she was in hospital. Probably on the day that she was found to be in a very poor state of health, which was 12th of March last year. Has the hospital kept records of who visited her as well? Yeah, we've, we've uh, made those inquiries. The hospital have been particularly uh, helpful with us and we're certainly attributed no, no blame for it, but we eliminate the hospital from getting any involvement in these deaths. You know, um, as I said, we believe there's been an external source in relation to Mrs Anderson's death. Sorry, just to clarify with the uh, Mrs Anderson at hospital, that she was treated at hospital for something different yeah. And the belief is that she may have been poisoned at hospital by someone? Yeah, we believe by someone that visited her, yes. Okay, while in hospital? Yes. Okay, sure. Was each of the victims given this poison once and died 